Let's review our naturals. We've done this a whole bunch, but if you start with your F with just your whisper key, go down the naturals on the instrument. So we cover the first hole in its E, and then D, and then C, keep covering B, A, G, F. Now what happens when we want to play a lower note that's still a natural? Do you know? If you keep going down, we have to keep going down and keep covering holes. Now the bassoon actually does something really interesting right here. Up until now, we've just been going totally down. Well, the bottom of your bassoon actually turns. So when your air is going down this way, it's gonna turn and it's gonna go all the way through the bottom and back up the other side. So I'll give you a hint to find the next key that is gonna be covered. You're gonna keep going down and then your air is gonna turn around and spin to this side of your instrument. So, what is the next key that covers a hole going up this way? That's gonna be your next natural note. While you're looking for it, I'm gonna give you a hint and tell you that it's kind of hard to see because it's under a really, really big, fat key. If you can see on your right hand, the second thumb key down, we call it the pancake key because it looks like a big, giant, fat pancake. And under that key, there's a hole. So we have gone F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F all the way down. What would the next lower note be? It's gonna be an E. You're gonna keep going down your alphabet just like you did on the front side, but now the air has turned and we're going up the back side now. So let's play our low F, which you can already play, and then add that key. This is your pancake key, which is gonna make your low E. So play your F and then your E. Here we go. <laughs> super low air and now you have all ten fingers covering something so everything has to be doing its part and everything has to be covering the, its hole completely we can have no half holes anywhere not a half hole note do it one more time low F with super hot air and then add your pancake key to make it a low E here we go <laughs> Once you've gotten that out, there's a next one. Keep looking up this side of the bassoon. Keep in mind your air goes through all the way down, turns around, and starts coming up this side. So here's a hint. It's on this side. What's the next thing that you can cover? It's actually this key right here that's really long. And you've already used it too. You used it when you played your C sharp, remember? This time, what note would that make it? We've already had our F, E, the next note down would be D. So you play it just like you did with your C sharp where you use the back of your thumb to cover that key. Here we go, let's play our F and then slur down to your E covering your pancake key and then keep it covered and add your low D key to play a low D. Here we go. <laughs> Open up your teeth, make everything here really round and really open, hot air, really low hot air. It doesn't require a lot. If you're getting really high notes or something that sounds like that, way too much air. Much less, much hotter, and much lower. Do it one more time. F and then E and then D. as you go down. Now I've got something else for you to do while you're playing your D. Watch what my thumb does while I play this note and see if you can't move it around just like mine. Can you move it all over that key without making the sound change? Try it with me. Try it again. Just start on your low D lift up your thumb off of the whisper key, but not off of the low D key, 
and keep it down as you move up and down your D key. Here we go. Did it work? Try it one more time just to be really picky. This is really important for the next notes we're gonna learn. Here we go, last time. Now that brings us to our next note. We have learned our low F, then we went down to E, then we added another key for D. Can you see what the next key that can be covered is? I'll give you a hint, it's going up this direction. We've already covered the D. The next hole on the instrument is right here. This is which note? F, E, D, C. It's your C. Now, what we just did on your D is really important because as you go to your C, you still have to keep your D key down. You still have to keep pressing it. Now, this little space in between the D and the C key kind of feels like a little niche. And then you know what your knuckle is, right? The back side of your knuckle on your thumb. So this is where we say, put the knuckle in the niche. So play your D, lift up your thumb, and slide it around, and then eventually you're going to get to where your knuckle is in the niche and then it's gonna press down your C key while still holding your D key. Start on a D, lift up your thumb just like we were doing, and this time when we go around, actually hit your C key too, and just hold your thumb in the niche. Here we go. careful that these fingers are still covering the holes. You're moving your thumb around so much, but notice that this part of my hand doesn't really move. It's really just my thumb. This is all staying totally still. And so these fingers don't have to come off of the holes. So watch again or play it with me. Here we go one more time. D going down to C. you could play a little game with yourself and maybe rest a piece of paper or a paper clip or something right here where your hand holds the bassoon on that point and see if you can't keep it balanced there while you move your thumb down to this key. So my hand isn't going up like this, my arm isn't moving all sorts of crazy directions. This is all staying still and my thumb just moves up and my knuckle goes in the niche. So once you have that down, we're going to add another one. I bet you can guess which note it is. We've done our F, E, D, C. What's going to come next? It's a B. And the next hole that we can cover is this one right here. So we already have our knuckle in the niche, and our knuckle in the niche is going to stay right in the niche. It's not going to move. And then we're going to touch the B key on the top of the B key a little bit, like that, and press it down like that. Again, nothing like that. It's not any sort of crazy way to move your thumb. Just knuckle in the niche, and then press down your B key. Your D key has to stay down, which is why that knuckle in the niche is so important. Here we go, let's start on D, and play D, C, and then add your B key. Here we go. to get out and this might be one of those things that you can practice a whole lot until it feels a little more comfortable. Remember all those things that you know, really low hot air, open up your teeth a little bit more and make sure that your air is low and pushing the whole time while all of your fingers are covering all of the holes. Tons of things to remember but you're pressing down like 14 keys right now so 
all sorts of stuff. Here we go. This time we're gonna go back to F. So we're gonna go all the way from F to E to D to C to B, all the way down. Let's do it, here we go. Did you keep your knuckle in the niche? Did they all stay low and come out? Now, this last note on the instrument is the one exception to our rule of covering holes to make naturals. There's one more hole that we can cover. I bet you figured out which one it is, right? It's the next one, but it's not an A. It's actually a B flat, and that happens because this hole and this hole are just not far enough apart to make a whole step. So it's only a half step, so it's just down to a B flat. Some people can put other things on the top of their instruments, and I'm sure you'll figure that out later to make lower notes, but the bassoon just goes down to a B flat. So this is your lowest note on the instrument. Let's start on D again and play your D, keep your knuckle in the niche down to C, add your B key, and then add your B flat key. If you're in the right position for B, all you have to do is roll your finger down just a little bit to get to B flat. Starting on D, let's slur all the way down to the bottom of the instrument. Here we go. Now this takes a little while to get used to. It takes a while to get used to moving your thumb like this without moving these fingers. So take this exercise home and practice it. Whatever note you can get out really well, start on that note. So if you have to go back up to your C that we learned on day one, go back to your C and add one finger at a time all the way down the instrument until you can get to the bottom. So if you play your C, you get all the way down to say low D and then a finger came off and it kind of came off. Well then you can always go back to an E because you know it worked up until then. So then start on an E and go down. There's lots of ways to practice it, but the best way is starting on a note you can play and slurring down until you can add more notes as you go. So remember, keep your knuckle in the niche, keep all of your holes covered, and then you get to play your good low notes on the bassoon.